Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to 2019, the first video of 2019. We're happy to say that we're gonna be doing a part three. <laughs> so we're gonna be continuing this build on this car. Before we actually do that, before we actually show you guys, we got all the parts in, so we're gonna try to do our best to line this up and make it as proper as possible. Me and my brother just wanna start off by saying that 2019 is a big year for us. Basically, me and my brother are both gonna be getting into this channel. Our brother's gonna be more into this channel. You'll be seeing him in a little bit. He's behind the camera. Um, but basically, my goal for 2019, as you guys can see, I have my 335 right here, and then I have my 330i at the shop right now, so my goal, I don't care what it takes, but the end of 2019, I wanna set a goal that I get eventually an M car. I wanna go towards a 1M, which is a very uncommon M car, and that's one of the reasons why I really, really, really wanna rebuild one of those. So if you guys ever find a 1M, let me know. That's pretty much my end goal, so you guys can see like, what is Nor's plans, what is he trying to get to? Let's just say my goal is a 1M. Um, I don't know how I'm gonna get there, but that is our goal. You need to set some goals for 2019, guys. If you guys don't have a goal for 2019, whether that's to start a YouTube channel, Instagram, whatever, it's to get a car, to save $1,000, to invest $1,000, make sure you do so. 2019 is a whole new year. You can do whatever you want. And uh, even if you don't even invest the amount of money that you want to or, you know, your Instagram doesn't grow as big as you wanted. You started, and that's all that matters. Next year, you have a better foundation. Um, but yeah, getting the camera and flipping around to my brother. What's up, guys? Uh, thank you again for watching. Thank you again for watching another episode. So we're gonna be starting our part three. And as you guys know, we're doing this on my build, uh, the F3328i. And this car means a lot to me, this car. I really loved it. I really loved the F chassis. It's like the, the, the thickness of the car. Really, I loved it. And hopefully we can get this car going. We can do as much things as possible. And I wouldn't be able to do this if it wasn't for Keys Motorsports, guys. So please, guys, send them all. Send Keys Motorsports all you love because he really helped me out with this build. He's helped me out with the whole build, actually. So I can't thank him enough. There's literally no way I can't thank him enough. Yeah, like honestly, dead ass. He's literally gonna be supporting the whole build. So his YouTube link can be top of the description. If you guys can go to his latest video and just literally just spam saying uh, hashtag save a BMW from Noise Channel, that'd be awesome uh, because you know we really do appreciate what he's doing for us because what what he's basically doing is what is what is he giving to your car there yeah, for the for the majority? Like what is what is he gonna he's, do? Okay, in general, he's gonna give me a whole entire M Sport. Package. package. Basically, we're gonna turn this non M Sport car into a full M Sport car, and it's all being sponsored by Keys Motorsports. So, shout out to him. My brother, as of now, is not obviously in the best financial situation, just like how I am whenever I buy a new car. So, whenever we get a new car, money is kind of tight. And trying to cheap out by buying, you know, a stock bumper is a lot easier getting a paint match and everything, but going M Sport and then on top of that, painting it gets very expensive. So, He's gonna be sending us the whole body kit. We just have to get it painted, which we're definitely doing. We're not gonna be cheaping out. And uh, he also, my brother also got a lot of OEM parts, and that's what we're gonna be doing in this video. So again, we're very excited for this build. All right, guys, so the parts we got, I didn't want to cheap out on this build. I know money's tight, but I still want to make this build you know, as, as nice, as complete as possible. It's really satisfying when you guys get OEM parts. So I'm letting you guys know that the only two things I got from Craigslist were the radiator, and the reason of that is because I need one with the sensor. Uh, the ones with the sensor cost 500 at, like at least and above. They, they're really expensive. So I got this on a really good deal off Craigslist. That's why I had to pick this one off of Craigslist. And I also got the AC condenser off of Craigslist as well. They both work. They both hold fluid just as nice. Uh, it's not really a big, you know, like... Uh, issue as long as they do what they're supposed to do their job but uh, as for these parts we got all OEM parts they're they're uh, all straight from BMW we got the packaging you pretty much you got the radiator top plastic housing uh, this actually holds the bumper I don't know it's like the front radiator support the actual radio support headlight brackets they're all OEM um, we didn't want to cheap out of any of these parts because I know my haircut's bomb, by the way, guys, I know. But if you guys have cheap, uh, pretty much, you know, frame supports, when you put the hood latches on these things and you try closing the hood, the whole frame support will shift downwards. I know that from personal experience. I bought some cheap ones on my E36, and uh, it, it wasn't so good. So always go OEM, especially on front-end parts, to make sure your alignment everything is good. But yeah, without further ado, um, let's get to it, right? Thank you again, Keys Motorsports. Yeah, again, shout-out to Keys Motorsports. It's just... 
Shh, dude, guys, please go down to his channel down below and just go on his latest video. I have a link to his latest video down below and just say hashtag saving BMW from North's channel. Uh, just show him some love, you know, because what he's done for us is amazing. And uh, you guys are going to be able to see us do a whole M Sport conversion and turn this car into a beast. I'm sure my brother's excited. I'm excited. And uh, guys, the 335 is not done. Nowhere close to being done. We still got a lot of plans on it. Just FYI, for those of you guys who are wondering where the 335 went, I'm actually going to be, we're actually going to be painting the rims in this video or the next video. So, We'll see how much time we got. We're gonna do a test alignment on the front end of this car right now. And we're just gonna see um, if everything lines up properly. If not, we're just taking down the frame shot. But let's try our best and let's see how it looks. So what we did realize, guys, when you're replacing these headlight brackets is that this, the horns are actually soldered on. So we're gonna have to end up uh, grinding all that off, getting some JB Weld and putting it on the new headlight supports. But uh, we're just gonna go put on the headlight supports right now to test out that radiator support, see if that lines up properly, because if that doesn't line up properly, our bumper won't line up properly. So we need to make sure that lines up properly right now. Um, so we're just gonna put in the headlight brackets. These are the new headlight brackets, OEM. Looking good, okay. All right guys, so this is the old headlight support. As you can see, it's clearly destroyed. So um, right here, we have uh, the horn. We have a horn on each side with the sensor. It has a normal screw here, but unfortunately this is welded on right there. So we're gonna have to figure out a way. We're just gonna pretty much grind it off, get this screw out, and then put this piece on our newer one over there and probably either use some JB Weld or we can just drill a hole and put a screw into it. So we'll see what we're gonna do, but let's go ahead and just grind this horn off so we can reuse it. All right guys, so this was actually JB welded on the other side, the screw. It was kind of a permanent thing. So what we did, we ended up getting, uh, you know, just one of these heads you get, you find on the bottom of your Vanguard. We're gonna go ahead and slap that on here. Oh dear. <sighs> Nothing ever goes according to plan when you're recording. Ugh. Push that in there, lines up perfectly. Damn. Don't mind my head here. And then we can slap on the hood, and it lines up perfectly. I mean, not the hood. I don't even know what I'm saying, the horn. And then we can get our fancy dancy screw, screw that in there. Tighten her up. This looks very professional right now. <laughs> and that is good to go guys. This horn ain't going nowhere. This is kind of like an OEM fit. Looks pretty good. Um, so it's an issue that we did find when uh, trying to reassemble this is we need to put two screws down here and one screw on the other side, which means um, we have we have to assemble this whole thing before we can start assembling all the middle things, uh, like the radiator, the condenser, and the fan, because then we won't be able to access the screw on this side. And the reason why we need to re-access this is because we're still missing the hood latch. So the hood latch goes in here and has to go in through the back. So once if we screw this in, we can't get the hood latch to go back in here. At least I don't think so, because there's also a little uh, box. Let me show you guys over here. A little container looks like this. So uh, this piece right here, this plastic piece, we'll, we will need a new one on both sides. Since this is a little bit cracked, we might actually get away with just use, reusing this one, but the other side needs a new one. Um, but yeah, so we'll have to go down to BMW. All right, I'm gonna cover up my hair because I'm quite embarrassed from it. So unfortunately, um, we couldn't get the parts. This is me, I noticed while I was editing that I didn't mention this as I was recording, and the part said that it's gonna come in the next day, and it didn't come even today, so we have to wait another day. All right, guys, next video is gonna be a part three to this build, but this video, we're just gonna be wrapping up the 335, waiting for all the parts to come in. That's completely out of my control, and, and, and we forgot that we needed hood latches, so we had to order that, and it's gonna come in in one or two days, and then we should have everything, and we should be good to go for part three. Sorry for holding you guys back on that, but, um, the 335 is coming together though. Show them these tires. Guys, look at these tires. These are some brand spanking new tires.
man, my haircut is so bad. <laughs> I look bald, but like, I uh, just don't worry about it, all right? Anyways, um, as my brother, he's gonna be uh, washing the rims. I'm gonna head down to Walmart and pick up some Rust-Oleum paint. I heard there's like a one matte layer and two gloss layers to, to make it gloss. I'm gonna go with gloss up here. I'm gonna go with black, obviously. So I'm gonna go get some paint. We're not doing Plasti Dip. We're doing actual paint. So we're gonna make sure we actually wash these down clean, sand them down, and then paint them. So it's gonna be a little bit of a process. We're gonna try to get that done here for you guys. So unless we try to kill some time till 5 p.m. and then once 5 p.m. hits, we head down to uh, BMW. So yeah, I'll catch you guys when I get back. But for the meantime, uh, enjoy a clean wash on rims. Enjoy a, a fresh, clean. How do you say it? Shut up, baby. How do you say it? What are you doing? Enjoy. All right, guys, if you have some crazy curb rash like this, like really bad texture, these rims came with some crazy curb rash. We went ahead and sanded it, and it, you know, it's working pretty darn good. It's really smooth. Um, I don't know, it doesn't look the same color, but it's hella smooth. We're gonna repaint it anyway, so we're gonna go ahead and just sand all these corners 60 grit, and go ahead and re sand the entire uh, rim 200 grit just to get the paint to us, uh, you know, adhere properly. All right guys, so we just got the wheels set up. We sanded them down. This one we got all, pretty much most of the curb rash. I mean, obviously I didn't get all of it off. Hey, it looks decent. It looks better than it was. Uh, I went ahead and put the cards around it, dried them off. I think now it's ready to paint it. We're gonna go ahead and paint it with some matte. After the matte, we'll go put some gloss and see how it turns out. If it turns out sick, thumbs up. Um, if it doesn't, thumbs down the video. Like, no, nah, I'm kidding. Thumbs it up no matter what. I forgot to put an outro. <laughs> so if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to smash that like button. Um, and if you guys want a part three, get this video to 300 likes and we'll get a part three out to the F30 series. I know a lot of you guys have been DMing me about that, so I'm just setting a low like goal of 300. Get this video to 300 and we will get that out ASAP. I promise within a day or two. I promise. Love you guys so much. Remember to stay humble and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.